speaks to them. Thus saith the Lord God in the day when I chose Israel and lifted up my hands for the house of Jacob and appeared to them in the land of Egypt and lifted up my hand for them, saying, I am the Lord your God. In that day I lifted up my hand for them to bring them out of the land of Egypt into a land which I had provided for them, flowing with milk and honey which excels among all lands. And I said to them, Let every man cast away the scandals of his eyes and defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Your God. Thus saith the Lord God, I am the Lord your God. I brought you out of the land of Egypt into a land flowing with milk and honey, but you turned away and would not listen. Now my indignation rises, but for my name's sake I spared you. Me and would not hearken to me. They did not every man cast away the abominations of his eyes. Neither did they forsake the idols of Egypt. And I said I would pour out my indignation upon them and accomplish my wrath against them in the midst of the land of Egypt. But I did otherwise for my name's sake, that it might not be violated before the nations, in the midst of whom they were, and among whom I made myself known to them, to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Therefore I brought them out from the land of Egypt. rises, but for my name's sake I spared you. But they provoked me and would not hearken to me, and they did not every man cast away the abominations of his eyes, neither did they forsake the idols of Egypt. And I said I would pour out my indignation upon them, and accomplish my wrath against them. But the midst of the land of Egypt, that I gave them my statutes, and I shewed them my judgments, which if a man do he shall live in them. Moreover, I gave them also my Sabbaths, to be a sign between me and them, and that they might know that I am the Lord that sanctify them. But the house of Israel provoked me in the desert. They walk not in my statutes, and they cast away my judgments, which if a man do he shall live in them. And they grievously violated my Sabbaths. I said therefore that I would pour out my indignation upon them in the desert and would consume them. But I spared them for the sake of my name, lest it should be profaned before the nations from which I brought them out in their sight. So I lifted up my hand over them in the desert, not to bring them into the land, which I had given them flowing with milk and honey, the best of all lands. Nor be ye defiled with their idols I am the Lord your God Walk ye in my statutes And observe my judgments And do them And sanctify my Sabbaths That they may be a sign between me and you And that you may know That I am the Lord your God But their children provoke me They want not in my commandments Nor observe my judgments to them Which if a man do he shall live in them And they violated my Sabbaths and I threatened to pour out my indignation upon them and to accomplish my wrath in them in the desert. But I turned away my hand and wrought for my name's sake that it might not be violated before the nations out of which I brought them forth in the sight. I the Lord God, I am the Lord your, your God. I brought you out of the land of Egypt into a land full of the milk and honey, but you turned away and would not listen. Now my indignation rises, but for my name's sake I spared you. Again I lifted up my hand upon them in the wilderness To disperse them among the nations And scatter them through the countries Because they had not done my judgments And had cast off my statutes And had violated my Sabbaths And their eyes had been after the idols of their fathers Therefore I also gave them statutes that were not good And judgments in which they shall not live And I polluted them in their own gifts When they offered all that open room for their offenses And they shall know that I am the Lord
that say to them, Thus saith the Lord God in the day when I chose Israel and lifted up my hands for the house of Jacob and appeared to them in the land of Egypt and lifted up my hand for them, saying, I am the Lord your God. In that day I lifted up my hand for them to bring them out of the land of Egypt into a land which I had provided for them, flowing with milk and honey which excels among all lands. And I said to them, Let every man cast away the scandals of his eyes and defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Thus saith the Lord God, I am the Lord your God. I brought you out of the land of Egypt into a land flowing with milk and honey, but you turned away and would not listen. Now my indignation rises, but for my name's sake I spared you. But they provoked me and would not hearken to me. They did not every man cast away the abominations of his eyes. Neither did they forsake the idols of Egypt. And I said I would pour out my indignation upon them and accomplish my wrath against them in the midst of the land of Egypt. But I did otherwise for my name's sake, that it might not be violated before the nations, in the midst of whom they were, and among whom I made myself known to them, to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Therefore I brought them out from the land of Egypt, then brought them into the desert. Thus saith the Lord God, I am the Lord your God. I brought you out of the land of Egypt into a land flowing with milk and honey but you turned away and would not listen now my indignation rises but for my name's sake i spared you but they provoked me and would not hearken to me that they did not every man cast away the abominations of his eyes neither did they forsake the idols of egypt and i said i would pour out my indignation upon them and accomplish my wrath against them but the midst of the land of egypt that i gave them my statutes and i shewed them my judgments which if a man do he shall live in them moreover i gave them also my sabbaths to be a sign between me and them and that they might know that i am the lord that sanctify them but the house of israel provoked me in the desert they walk not in my statutes and they cast away my judgments which if a man do he shall live in them and they grievously violated my sabbaths i said therefore that i would pour out my indignation upon them in the desert and would consume them but i spared them for the sake of my name lest it should be profaned before the nations from which i brought them out in their sight so i lifted up my hand over them in the desert not to bring them into the land which i had given them flowing with milk and honey the best of all lands of your fathers and observe not their judgments nor be ye defiled with their idols i am the lord your god walk ye in my statutes and observe my judgments and do them and sanctify my sabbath that they may be a sign between me and you and that you may know that i am the lord your god but your children provoked me they walk not in my commandments nor observe my judgments to do them which if a man do he shall live in them And they violated my sabbaths And I threatened to pour out my indignation upon them And to accomplish my wrath in them in the desert But I turned away my hand and wrought for my name's sake That it might not be violated before the nations Out of which I brought them forth in their sight Said the Lord God, I am the Lord your God I brought you out of the land of Egypt into a land flowing with milk and 
honey But you turned away and would not listen Now my indignation rises But for my name's sake I spared you again I lifted up my hand upon them in the wilderness To disperse them among the nations And scatter them through the countries Cause they had not done my judgments And had cast off my statutes That had violated my sabbaths And their eyes had been after The idols of their fathers Therefore I also gave them statutes That were not good And judgments in which they shall not live And I polluted them in their own gifts When they offered all that opened the womb For their offenses And they shall know that I am the Lord into a land flowing with milk and honey but you turned away and would not listen now my indignation rises but for my name's sake i spared you again i lifted up my hand upon them in the wilderness to disperse them among the nations and scatter them through the countries because they had not done my judgments and had cast off my statutes and had violated my sabbaths and their eyes had been after the eyes had been after the idols of their fathers therefore i also gave them statutes that were not good and judgments in which they shall not live and i polluted them in their own gifts when they offered all that opened the womb for their offenses and they shall know that i am the lord Israel and lifted up my hand.
was also new fathers blasphemed me when they had despised and contemned me. And I had brought them into the land for which I lifted up my hand to give it them. They saw every high hill and every shady tree. And there they sacrificed their victims. And there they presented the provocation of their offerings. And there they set their sweet odors and poured forth their libations. Thus saith the Lord God, I am the Lord your God. I brought you out of the land of Egypt into a land flowing with milk and honey. But you turned away and would not listen. Now my indignation rises, but for my name's sake I spared you. For my name's sake I spared you. To them, what meaneth the high place to which you go? And the name thereof was called High Place even to this day. Wherefore say to the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, Verily you are defiled in the way of your fathers, and you commit fornication with their abominations, and you defy yourselves with all your idols unto this day in the offering of your gifts. When you make your children pass through the fire, and shall I answer you, O house of Israel? As I live, saith the Lord God, I will not answer you. Neither shall the thought of your mind come to pass, by which you say we will be as the Gentiles. Listen, now my indignation rises, but for my name's sake I spared you. And I said to them, What meaneth the high place to which you go? And the name thereof was called High Place, even to this day. Wherefore say to the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, Verily you are defiled in the way of your fathers, and you commit fornication with their abominations, and you defy yourselves with all your idols unto this day in the offering of your gifts. When you make your children pass through the fire, and shall I answer you, O house of Israel? As I live, saith the Lord God, I will not answer you, neither shall the thought of your mind come to pass. By which you say we will be as the Gentiles. We will be as the Gentiles. Fornication with their abominations, and you defile yourself with all your eyes. 